right, everybody, how you doing? I'm very excited about this Zippo, so I'm just going to skip right to it. I'm going to give you the full uh, details on the Zippo, everything Zippo is saying about it. And then I'm going to go over my thoughts and everything I think about the Zippo. Uh, but I really, really like this thing. And re one of my main reasons why I like this is because it just proves that Zippo is listening. They read your emails. They read our comments. They know what's happening, and they're bringing back what we like. So that's good to know that they are listening. And the first thing you're going to notice, whoa, this thing has a black insert. It is some sort of coating. Uh, they haven't said much about it. I'm assuming just like any other coating Zippo puts on, it will scratch. But the nice thing about it being black is if it scratches and it shows steel underneath, eventually that scratch will uh, fill up with soot. So that should be interesting. Also, this copper case is going to be a collectible of some sort. Uh, we'll see where it comes because you'll read here. Uh, Zippo's first solid copper prototype was introduced in 1969 and has made several surprise appearances and generated widespread demand ever since. Uh, and now we're reintroducing this premium fan favorite on an exclusive trial basis. So that trial basis tells you a lot right there. That is going to be fun. Uh, this limited pre-production model features a hand-finished solid copper case that will eventually develop a unique and luxurious patina like the Statue of Liberty all green. This piece also showcases a first ever look at the black coated insert uh, with a unique bottom stamp. Now the bottom stamp isn't that unique we're going to see here. Uh, this is the Zippo standing up. It looks very nice. Uh, if 48107, uh, $75. Uh, that seems uh, seems reasonable, seems like it's very good, and you're getting a look at the bottom stamp. I don't know what is unique about the bottom stamp. I can't put my finger on it right now. It just looks like how they did the titanium or the copper, uh, but the one thing I noticed, it isn't a canned bottom, so the old Zippos were canned bottom. These ones are flat bottom. I guess that's the unique part. Uh, and then you're getting a first look at the box. I love the copper on the box. Uh, you're getting one of the nicer boxes there, the collectible boxes. Um, which this lighter deserves, I think, to be honest. And the box is really great. Okay, so now we've looked through everything Zippo has to say about it. We're going to get on to uh, what I think about it. All right, so my initial first thought of this thing is, yeah, gorgeous. Where do I sign up? How many can I get? Limited per customer, whatever. Like, I like this lighter. It's really sharp looking. Uh, and another reason why I like this lighter is because solid coppers are like, 300 bucks people are charging for them for the 2000 ones and like i don't really i don't i don't think they're worth that much i i'm big complainer about that pricing on it i really don't like it uh but the thing is now that these are going to be out i don't think people on ebay are going to be selling them for that high of a price now because why would people buy them buy that one for that when they could just buy this one with a black insert for $75 you know what I mean it doesn't make sense like they could just buy this uh so like I think for a while being while these are out I think the price uh you know you might you might not see a lot of them for sale or maybe people will start trying to sell them because people will see that copper's back around and they'll try to rip people off and get their uh $300 piece of crap zippo out there for a 2003 copper it's not worth that I don't care just because people are dumb enough to pay it doesn't mean it's worth that uh, but, and this will be out for $75. Everyone's going to jump on this option over the copper Zippo option from 2003, right? Like nobody, I don't think people are going to be able to fork over 300 to $400 for one of those when they can fork out 75 for this, which I'd rather do with the insert and everything like that. Uh, but you know what I mean? Who knows the, I don't control the market, so we'll see what happens. Uh, but I just think you won't see the old copper Zippos for sale as much until that these ones run out and people who didn't jump on them, you're going to see these ones going for an extremely high price. And then you're going to see the other ones obviously probably stay in the same or something like that, I would imagine. Uh, but now the thing is, like, I'm not a big fan of copper. Uh, now the thing, but the real molecularly, like, if you break down what separates brass from copper, there really isn't much. They are basically the same metal, right? Um, a lot of people probably don't know this, but if you keep brass in a humid place uh, for long periods of time and things like that, it will actually go green. You get green tarnish on it, just like uh, the copper gets the green tarnish, right? Uh, which is fine. Uh, I do have a brass Zippo in my collection that does have some green on it. and uh, But this thing hasn't been used in years and it was kept in really bad conditions and it, perfect conditions for it to grow this green uh, tarnish. Uh, but I also have Zippos that are even older than this one, and they are just straight black. Like, they, they look black like that insert. They're just covered in black. Uh, brass is a really funny thing, and it tarnishes really cool, and I do like it. Uh, 
but the copper too like i don't know if you go downstairs into your basement and you try to find some copper pipes that you're using like you know take a feel take a smell like that <laughs> that's how it is but like this is polished copper so it's not really going to be like that it's going to be it's going to last and they put a coating on it to protect it for years until it gets like that uh don't forget that too but i don't have an actual copper zippo i have a copper cheapo it was given to me by brian quilty in the 90s copper was cheaper than brass so and uh, the asian market when they would make a flip top lighter what they would do is they would uh make it out of copper instead of brass because copper was cheaper and brass cost more money so it was a no-brainer right you use the cheaper metal you chrome it nobody knows the difference um i got it and it was in good shape i got it from brian quilty uh i got it, it was in good shape high polish looks good i've had it sitting around for a little bit and it's been probably two years and it's already got a bunch of green on it and it's you know it's like it's got this weird feeling on it when you rub it on your hands. You can smell it. And I, I don't know. I don't like it. But I don't care about that for this Zippo, right? I the, You can throw that all out the window. I really don't care about that. I just want it for the collection. It's cool. It's nice. It's it's the newer copper version. It's got the flat bottom. I like it. It comes with the insert. Uh, now, here's the thing, though. I'm on the... And this is what I think about the inserts. I'm really on the fence about the inserts. And I'm going to tell you why. Uh because coated inserts tend not to do well in a Zippo, right? So you're going to scratch it off. You're going to see steel through it. But it's going to get filled up with soot as you use it. The scratches will get filled up with soot, returning it to a black Zippo. So generally speaking, you're never going to have to uh, clean your insert again with this black insert, right? As long as the steel, when you scratch it, it looks like steel again. And then it gets filled with soot again. And then it goes back to black again. It'll be, it'll be a sweet cycle of never having to clean your insert and it just being sooty. I like that, uh, but I hope this opens up other colors, right? Like, this is reminiscent of what they did with the black matte in 1984. First, they introduced black matte, and then after that, they started introducing co colors and designs because of how popular it was. I think this is the same thing. Zippo doesn't say that it's a trial basis very often, okay? Like, they don't put that in the description. If they say this is a trial basis... That means that if this sells well, they're going to be selling these, not just the copper Zippo, like the black insert too. They're going to be selling these a lot. They're waiting for our feedback on this, guys. So uh, uh, the, any feedback really, really helps them. I think the Zippo's a hit. I think it's a hit. I love this thing. I want one so bad. Uh, so bad do I want one of these. Uh, but like I said, I'm not a big fan of the insert. I might actually put a gold-plated insert in my copper Zippo, use the black insert somewhere else. I know people complain, oh, you got to keep them together. I don't care. Uh, that's not what I'm getting it for. The copper Zippo can stay as is. The insert can go in other things. I'm allowed to use it as I please. Uh, I think a lot of people will do the same thing. But keeping it in the... It looks nice with the copper Zippo. The black and the copper goes extremely well together. I have nothing bad to say about that. I'm uh, what I, I'm just really happy that Zippo's starting to listen to us. Because you know what? It makes me feel like an Armour 1941 replica is not far away. A uh, rose gold vintage look bring back is not far away. A 32 replica bring back is not far away. Uh, even a rose gold 41 is something i'm highly seeking after it doesn't seem like it's too far away now when zippo constantly release something we want uh that's awesome uh we all complained we wanted rose gold armors uh, six months later they had rose gold armors you know so uh, everyone's been talking about these copper zippos zippo is seen on ebay wow these copper zippos are selling for a lot let's bring them back like this is smart this is this is what marketing is they're doing a good job and uh i'm, I'm more than happy with this thing cannot wait to get my hands on one i believe it's going to be a usa release already uh but someone did say that they are going to get i i told them if I, anybody wants a custom i will do a custom for one of these and one of these only uh so if anybody wants a custom from me this is what I want in return for it. Instead of buying, you know, four twenty dollars Zippos, you can actually save five dollars and just buy this. Uh, and then you're not ordering from all over, blah blah blah. It's just you're getting one thing. So I do like that. And someone did say they are doing it for me, so I might have one on lock. Uh, but I would be, I would be more than happy to get two or three of these. So if anybody else wants customs, I will do customs for this and this Zippo only right now. I'm not taking anything else because <laughs> i want one of these man uh, i'm really happy about this i'm really happy about this this is the turn of a new leaf i'm just excited to see what other colored inserts we're gonna get uh like me and kim were talking about this if you go back on old live streams we were talking about this years ago me and him wanted to paint uh like you know candy apple green and red and 
things like that inserts and purple inserts and do like a high gloss insert like how they do the tumbler cups with that like electricity paint i can't remember what it's called off the top of my head uh but i was looking at it and in, into doing it but i i didn't end up doing it it's like oh it's a powder coat it's a powder coat that powder coating them that's what we wanted to do we wanted to powder coat them and we thought that was a good idea and that would be super fun uh and you know it's just you know the tools and everything you need to do it it gets expensive and ordering we just never got around to it might be do something we're doing in the future but uh, i i would like to powder coat a few zippo inserts just to see what colors i can get and durability because the powder coating is extremely tough it really is uh so we're gonna see hopefully this is like some sort of powder coating uh black insert i really like it i just don't like black you know what i mean i just don't like the black insert aspect i want different colors now i want this to open up the road for different colors either way i think this zippo is a win uh i want to hear what you guys think about it down in the comments who's getting one uh who else wanted these really bad and who else has been talking about them and who else is glad that these are out so you don't have to pay outrageous prices for a 2003 one uh you can pay 75 dollars for a brand new one now not some old used one uh, but just, you know, the other ones did have copper plated inserts too, I believe. Uh, but like I said, I'm looking for more rose gold inserts. Rose gold is a little more durable than copper. And for my last point, I wanted to save it for last is why do I think Zippo is making these inserts like this? Why are they making uh, new chrome plated inserts, gold plated inserts, these new black painted inserts? I'm telling you, the main reason is because they feel bad that they're now using a crappier steel in the inserts. You can argue with me till you're blue in the face. I don't give a crap what you say. I know that these inserts are an inferior metal. I could just feel it. I can bend them easier. Like, trust me, they're an inferior metal. It's not that big of a difference, though. I, it's not like the crappy ones from the 90s. Like, they're not, like, that cheap. Like, I'm just saying they're cheaper than a regular Zippo insert. I'm not saying that there's some demolished piece of crap. So I think that why they're coating all these inserts now is to help protect them keep them a little more durable right like chrome will help a bit keep it more durable this black painted on thing will keep it more durable it, it kind of only proves my point more that the the insert is downgraded steel because now they're adding all these coated things to them to make them a little more durable to keep you from noticing it uh you know why haven't they done this in a hundred years <laughs> you know <laughs> like so why is this a new thing all of a sudden right well 90 years you know what i mean so just just try to try to keep that in mind let me know what you think of the comments uh what you have to say what your thoughts and opinions are and uh we'll see you in the next one